Hello, and welcome to the new online captains meeting for Mercer Intramurals 2011 fall soccer season. Today we will be going over the policies and procedure of the Mercer Intramural program as well as the rules for intramural soccer. Be aware that there will be a short multiple choice quiz after the video to evaluate your knowledge of the program's policies and soccer rules. There are many reasons that you may be participating in this online captains meeting. For starters, you must watch the video and score a 100 on the quiz prior to the first day of the regular season in order for your team to be eligible for participation as well as remaining eligible for ACC points. Maybe you wish to learn more about the game of soccer or perhaps you're interested in the policies and procedures of the intramural sports department. Whatever the reason, the most important reason to watch this video is so that you can share this information with your team. It is your responsibility as a captain to inform your teammates. The Intramural Sports Department at Mercer University is a student-led organization. The program relies on the efforts of student staff to run smoothly. Respect and courtesy is expected from participants and spectators towards intramural staff members, other participants, and other spectators. Participating in intramural sports is as much of a learning experience as a recreational activity. Learning to coexist with others is vital to your growth as both a human being and a Mercerian. Intramurals are intended to be recreational activities. Please treat them as such. In order to sign up to play intramural sports at Mercer University, you must make an IM Leagues account at imleagues.com. After you have made an account, you may join one same gender team and one co-rec team for each sport. After signing on to a team, you still have to bring either a government-issued photo ID or a bear card to sign in at the game site. Failure to bring one of these things will result in you not being eligible to play that day. All faculty, staff, and students are eligible to participate in intramural sports. Players that are currently under suspension are not allowed to participate. Intercollegiate athletes are ineligible until 365 days or one intramural soccer season, whichever is greater, after their affiliation with the team ends. Varsity coaches will be handled on a case-by-case -case basis. A team that uses an ineligible participant will forfeit the contest in which that player was on the roster. Teams must formalize rosters on imleagues.com by 2 p.m. the day of the game. Once a player signs onto a team, he or she is locked onto that team. Rosters are frozen in the playoffs and no one may be added at this time. The most debated and consistent issue the program has with participants is when a competition has to be forfeited. Game time is forfeit time. No matter what has happened in the past, this policy will be enforced consistently. Being a couple of minutes late is still late and will result in a forfeit if your team does not have the minimum number of competitors for the sport. Forfeits will result in a loss and forfeiture of ACC points. A team that forfeits twice will be dropped from the league. We recommend that captains tell their teams to be on site 15 minutes prior to game time. If a team knows in advance that they will not be able to play a scheduled contest, they may default in order to avoid a forfeit. To default, a member of the team must come into the intramural sports office and fill out a default form. This form must be completed no later than 4 p.m. the day of the contest. This includes 4 p.m. on Friday for Sunday contest. Any team that does not have the minimum number of players registered on IM Leagues by 2 p.m. the day of the contest will automatically default any game scheduled that day. In addition, we have a new policy. If a team has participants show up to the game site that is not on the roster, then that participant may use the new one-time entry form. Up to two players may use the one-time entry form for each team at each contest. In order to use the one-time entry form, you must have a valid bear card. We cannot accept any other form of ID with this form. Also, any participant wanting to use this form cannot have played with any other team in that league and must be an eligible participant under the Mercer Intramurals policies and procedures. Once a participant fills out this form, they will be allowed to play in the contest that night. Then they will have until 2 p.m. the following business day to join the team on imleaks.com. If a participant fails to join the team by the given deadline, or if they are found to be ineligible, the team they played with will forfeit that contest and that participant will not be allowed to use a one-time entry form again for that sport. A participant may use the one-time entry form once per league 
assuming that the participant has properly followed the one-time entry form procedures. At the conclusion of each contest, the field supervisor and officials will assign a sportsmanship grade, 0 through 4 in whole number increments, to each team. Captains must sign the score sheet after the grade and final score are placed. Captains, please do not sign the score sheet if this information is not there. Teams that do not achieve a 2.5 or better will not make the playoffs. Also, teams that fall below a 2.5 in the playoffs will be removed from the bracket. Teams forfeiting a game for any reason may not receive higher than a 2, and the winning team receives a 3. If a team defaults, both teams receive a 3. If a team captain feels that the officials have erred in the application of a rule, they may protest the ruling. This must be done prior to the next play. The supervisor will then be consulted and will make a decision. If the team still doesn't agree with the application, they may submit a written proposal to the assistant director. Please note that only the application of a rule can be protested. Judgment calls made by officials are final and may not be protested. The field of play for Mercer Intramurals is 80 yards by 40 yards. Please note that the location of the intramural fields for this year have changed. One field will be known as the intramural softball field, which is located beyond the outfield fence of the Mercer softball field. The second field will be known as the intramural lacrosse field and is located beyond the Mercer soccer stadium. Please note the locations on the provided campus map and be aware of the new locations and inform your team.